Okay, first off, if my husband left me the way that Sam left Brittany, then he would be packing his bags and on his way out. Now, there's a ton of bad press when it comes to Britney Spears, and I'm incredibly frustrated because we've got TMZ over here with headlines like this. Britney Spears' manic episode in restaurant husband Sam storms off. First off, the word manic is like almost like... <laughs> It's giving me like diagnoses vibe. Like they don't know if she was manic or not. And in the video clip that we're going to watch together, she doesn't seem like she's like off the wall. Even if she was, these people in this restaurant do not have the right to go and record Britney as she's trying to enjoy a meal with her husband. Let's go ahead and break down this article together. Britney Spears caused a scene Friday night at an L.A. restaurant. The pop star had a bizarre meltdown, prompting her husband to storm out. Eyewitnesses tell TMZ that Brit and Sam showed up with a bodyguard at Joey, a restaurant in Woodland Hills, and it was packed with a bunch of people who immediately recognized her. Um, seeing that Britney is just sat in the middle of the restaurant, it's like making me feel like this is some type of setup because celebrities especially britney's level they don't just sit in the middle of a restaurant they have like a private room maybe at least a table off to the side but they put her right in the middle on display let's go ahead and react to some of these clips together tmz has a crazy copyright system so we'll we'll try to watch this together but i'm gonna have to talk a little bit you'll see that there's someone who's recording britney and they're having pasta but they they take a video of britney sitting at this booth she seems like she's looking around a little bit maybe disoriented and then she holds up a menu like you guys can see to block her face because people around her would not stop filming her i'll play another clip at the end of this so you can hear some of the i guess gibberish that she's being accused of making because some people claim that she wasn't like speaking english or another language she was just making a bunch of sounds <laughs> So from the start, the dinner was a bust for Britney. Patrons pulled out their cell phones and began shooting footage of her. Britney got pissed and things went south quickly. Eyewitnesses say that Britney became manic, yelling and talking gibberish. Not another language, just unrecognizable speech. We're told that Sam got visibly upset he stood up and he stormed out the door, which we don't have any footage of this. I don't know why we don't have any footage of Sam sitting there with her or him walking away, but what kind of man leaves his wife at a restaurant alone, especially when she's like Britney Spears? Like, literally, that is unsafe to be out there alone. Granted, she did have her bodyguard there. Two minutes after that video was taken, Brittany got up and left the restaurant with her bodyguard, who had to come back afterwards to pay the bill. At least she has the bodyguard who's looking out for her, because her own husband isn't. Since this incident, Brittany has made some posts. She posted a video of herself, like, flicking off the camera. Who knows how old this video clip is, or when it was taken. Um, but she actually looks pretty good here but uh yeah this was i guess her response to the article going out you saw that middle finger and then here's another post she made i have no idea what this is but it looked pretty cool to me and it looks like it's some type of sculpture she also made this post they told me i couldn't that's why i did so tmz has taken a couple of those instagram posts and they've created a new article like did we not learn anything from 2007 they put out this article britney spears bizarre behavior continues after manic episode in restaurant britney has apparently responded to reports about her public meltdown but it's as confusing as her erratic behavior in the restaurant tmz you need to watch your mouth the pop star took to instagram saturday and posted an illustration of a woman in sunglasses sitting at a small table with her purse on top the caption reads you know they told me I couldn't, that's why I did. A few hours later, Brittany posted an IG video of herself dancing to music while repeatedly flipping the bird. TMZ broke the story that Brittany and her husband Sam had dinner at Joey, which is in San Fernando Valley, which is actually so crazy because literally... The day that this happened, I was looking up the restaurant Joey. And the reason why is because I follow Trisha Paytas. She's a YouTuber who I've been following since I was like... 
15 years old and she posted that she was at this restaurant and I saw that she was at this restaurant so I looked it up because anytime I see someone like post something in LA I'm like oh I wonder like how far that is away from me it's like 40 minutes away but it's funny because Trisha posted this I remember looking up the Joey restaurant and then I saw the Britney Spears clip the next day and I was like wait hold up I just looked up that place it's like you know like again 40 minutes from my my house but uh, Trisha posted on Twitter writing that she's freaking out because Britney Spears was at the same restaurant as she was last night. Uh, she asks everyone if they believe that Britney had seen her posts that she was at Joey. And um, even though I have been a fan of Trisha's for some time, Trisha girl, she did not see her. She did not see your post, okay? Brittany was not watching your Instagram story and going there because you were. But it is a really crazy coincidence. Trisha Paytas would be the type of person to go up to Brittany and just, like, start talking to her, try to become her best friend. Um, I don't know how... Britney would take it, but comment below. How do you think Trisha would have reacted running into Britney? Because I mean, I, how would I react? I don't even know. I probably would like leave her alone <laughs> just because like, I feel like that's all she wants. As far as the court battle, there are some updates because Britney Spears' lawyer, Matthew, wanted Britney Spears' father to do another deposition because in the deposition they did, he was not answering the questions they wanted and the documents that he was supposed to provide, they had all of these like passwords and they were out of order. So it made it very difficult for Matt to ask Jamie about those documents and everything else. The judge tentatively denied another deposition, which I'm shook. Like, if you're trying to have an honest, authentic case, don't you want all of the evidence? So why would you stop Matthew from interviewing Jamie if that would provide you more of the evidence to make your correct and morally ethical decision? You know, you'd think that she'd want this. But it sounds like Matthew was like, you know what, I need this deposition. I'll go to Louisiana. I'm like, I'll go to Louisiana. We'll do the whole thing there. Like, he's taking a trip down south. And it sounds like she's going to allow this, which I think would be amazing because there are so many documents and text messages and all this crap that they need to sift through so they can ask him if he, you know, messed with Britney's money. To be honest, I'm shook that this isn't in criminal court yet because what Jamie did to Britney is criminal. There's no other way to describe it. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Um, a lot of you guys were asking about my sickness. I turned out to have strep and an ear infection. So I'm on amoxicillin right now. Um, not feeling great, but like feeling like, okay, you know, like at least it doesn't hurt to swallow anymore. Honestly, I'm shook that I even filmed that video the other day because I felt so horrible, but I think I was like still like half asleep. So I didn't really fully register how ill I was, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I really want to go skiing soon. Like all day I've been thinking about going skiing. So if you guys have been skiing or snowboarding, comment below, let me know the best places to go. I'll probably stay in California. California. There's like a place called Big Bear, not too far away. But comment below because I do love going skiing. I've only been a couple of times in my life, but every time I've gone, I've enjoyed it. So anyways, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I hope that this situation doesn't traumatize Brittany any further because like she was out about at a restaurant like every normal person. She should do that. She should have the right to do that. She should feel great going out to dinner with her husband without feeling like an animal in a zoo, you know? So I really hope things get better and that people respect her more next time, but it doesn't seem that way. So comment below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.